Hello, hello, and good morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's Charlotte here. Welcome to my home. I, uh, yeah, I'm taking a break. First it was the hospital. Now it's the uh, rehabilitation place. So uh, before I go today, I wanted to come in and uh, I decided... I think this will be pretty therapeutic for me. I decided to go ahead and Junk Journal Joy is doing a uh, playing card, a 52 playing card, kind of like a challenge and where she is taking a full deck of cards and um, yeah, just decorating them. And I thought, what fun. So I decided to do that, and I think I am going to try to do two at a time. So uh, we will see how that goes. Hopefully, I mean, how long is it going to take? If I don't do two or three or four at a time, it's going to take me forever to get through this. So we're going to start with the king and queen of spades today and see what we can come up with. Now, I have noticed when some people are decorating playing cards, they just go ahead and decorate the card. I That doesn't work with me, and it might be because um, I'm using playing cards from the dollar store, but they have this ultra shiny finish on them. And so I can't get Mod Podge or um, Collage Podge to work. So what I do is I just rough them up really quick with the sander because I can't get anything to stick if I don't. So I'm just really quick I'm gonna do that so that we don't have such a plastic finish. And then I'm gonna begin with a little bit of collage podge and my paintbrush. Usually I use my fingers, but today I'm going to be a little bit more neat and use some collage podge, with this, which is this right here. It's my go-to. You can use Mod Podge. I don't know if you can see. I have beautiful roses on my desk today. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. I was helping somebody do uh, floral work for a wedding yesterday and was surprised when she brought roses to me. So I was very grateful for that. I thought that was, and they smell so good. I have all the winners out except for two. So let me, I'm going to use a piece of pattern paper here and I want it kind of wrinkly so that's okay I'm not sure that I want to hide the design and then I'm going to take what's left over we're going to do the same thing to the other card anyway I um uh, Lori, I think it's Zucow. I cannot read your, if you're watching, I cannot read the city that you are from. You sent me the napkins. Cannot read that city. So I have your ornament here still. If you will get in touch with me, that would be great. Let's go ahead and just use all of that. We've got some texture here with uh, the wrinkles, and I am going to put down a little bit of book page. We're just going to put a few layers here. Get that to stick. Oh my god. Collage podge on my rose petals. So I have this little piece left. Might as well go ahead. Let's just put it in here. Let's go ahead and set this down. 
just right here like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of the Collage Podge on here. And then um, let's cut the excess off. Trim. Let's go ahead and do our trimming. Okay, so I think we're dry. And now what I want to do is go ahead and use... I pulled some of the uh, Tim Holtz tissue paper. This or a, it, It's actually collage paper, and this is called floral. And I want to put a little bit of this on that's pretty but I think I want to go for I'd like to use some of this I'm just gonna rip this down just like that and I'm going to use this on there. So I'm just going to rip this off. A little bit more collage page. That's easier. We're just going to layer this over top. Like that. And I want some of this rose. So let's see what we can get here. on there like that I am I know many of you have um, pre-ordered the surprise boxes and what I am going to do is put them in my Etsy shop as customs and then have you go in there and I will probably list three in one so for instance custom order for one, two, three, uh, you know, obviously your name. And so then you would just go in there and go ahead and purchase them. Don't worry about that right now because I am um, going to package them all up. I will come back and let you know when they are in there. So probably with the next uh, video, I will do that. So... Be ready, because those are coming. They're fabulous. Oh, I think you're going to absolutely love what I put together. Let's put this here. I'm loving that. Okay, so I am going to dry these, and then um, I will be right back dried and now we are going to use a stencil and some texture paste and I am using this uh, Tim Holtz stencil right here anonymous I think it's called and uh, yeah we're just gonna put a little bit of texture on uh, these cards let's see like that just to give a little bit of a 3D effect. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. So I think maybe there, like that. Maybe just a little bit. Down here. So we've got something that looks like this. 
Hopefully you can see that. And on this one, I think let's go, let's use this different design here. Let's go up here at the top a little bit and then down here at the bottom. Okay, that. Ooh, love that. Let's put down here. There we go. And I have to dry this, so I'll be right back. Okay, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So now I think I'm going to do a little bit of distressing, and then I'm going to pull out the uh, watercolors, and we will give this a little bit more dimension. Let's see how we like it. And then I'm trying to decide, when I've got 52 of these done, what am I going to do with them? So I did see somebody that goes ahead and puts an eyelet and keeps them on a ring. So I thought that was a cute idea. Then you've got a whole collection. So let's see what colors I have that we can use on this. And we want to go lighter first. So maybe... a little bit of this let's see if we put a little bit of green see how this will look it's my spray bottle miss this and let it just kind of go where it wants to go see what we get a little bit of color here That's already pretty. Let's just miss it a little bit more and let it run. Then let's take a little bit of the Take a little bit of this red. Hopefully this will not be too dark. Let's just go up in here. Maybe a little bit down here. running. It's kind of a burnt. Okay, a little bit. Let's go. What do you think? All right, let me dry this and see what we've got. 
and I will be right back. This is, this is about how we're looking, and I'd say that is really, really pretty. So let's go ahead and do something with this guy here, and I think we will get into um, maybe a little bit of green. We can stay with some greens and see what we get here. Just a little bit up here and a little bit down here. Spritz it and see where it takes us. Let's run it. Let's see where we go. And I like that, but I think we will pull out, let's pull out a darker color. Let's go with, I think a little bit of black. Pretty bold, but um, I think it needs it. So let's play around with a, just a little bit of just pull that in just to give us a little bit of an accent. And a little bit up here. Then let's run it and see what we get. I don't want to mute it too much because I want that black to be there. And I like that. I like that a lot. So I am going to go ahead and dry this and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what we have. This is our cards. Let me go ahead and trim this up just a little bit. And then I pulled some um, Tim Holtz ephemera over, and I thought maybe we could find a few butterflies to put on this and um, see how we like that. Really, really pretty. I have a batch of this, which is called... Oh, botanicals. And then I also have some stamps. So I thought that might be fun. So let's see what we've got. Let's just pull this out. See what we can find. We've got that. This guy I love, but I think he's way too big. I mean, he would work. Ooh, I kind of like that. He is big, but he is cute. Another guy, and this one. And this one. Probably should have done this before. So I had it ready to go. Let's see what we can come up with with these guys here. So I really want some color. And I like that. That's really cute. This one I like, but I think he is too big. This one's got some blue. Not too sure about that. Nope, not him, so we know we don't want him, but I do like him. And of course we could, if we wanted, have him coming down. Oh, choices, choices. This is adorable. He is tiny, but he is cute.
Sorry guys, it's so quiet. It's just, you know, when you're thinking. Oh, I like that. Let me pull out, let me see what I have in these stamps and see if there might be a stamp that we could use here. Not really liking. I think these are um, Graphic 45. Not really feeling that. Let's open this up. Let's see what we've got in here. I think these might be too big. No, no stamps. Okay. I think I really do think I like him there, and I do think I like this like this. I would, I really would want to put, I really want to put a stamp up there, but I'm not in love. It's not, I wonder how that would look with a... Don't want to hide too much of the design. I wonder how that might look with a Tracy Fox label. I kind of like it. Let's use some. All right, I know I like this. Let's get put some black thread in this. I can find the end. Let's see it. There we go. Just gonna bunch up some black thread. Just for a little texture, that's all this is, is some texture. Get my glue. Just gonna bunch it up. I think we'll put it at the top. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue down here like that. Add some thread. Then glue the butterfly. Ugh, I feel kind of out of sorts today, I think, just because... I've been through so much and I've got so much on my mind. And then down here, I am wondering, do we want a label down here? It was, I'm not going to add thread down here either. I'm just going to give him two of the butterflies and called, I mean, that's really cute, guys. Look at that. That is really, really cute. And then I think um, when the butterflies dry, I will stick an eyelid up here and put this on a ring and call this card number one. Really, really cute. I like the way that that turned out. So that needs to dry. And then um, this one here, I think I will go ahead and just do a little bit of distressing because this is way too white. And we'll do the same thing on this stamp. And on the butterfly itself. And then we will glue these down. Let 
Okay, we'll put the stamp. Then we'll put the number. It should be like a specimen number. Even though this really is not a specimen card. We'll put this butterfly right there. And I had got some string. I think I need the black, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck some black thread underneath this butterfly. Just because I think it'll make a difference. So as a matter of fact, I probably could pop him off. Put this down, just put a little more glue on him. Put him on, 